Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can get the watercolor theme from the Windows Whistler betas inside of the actual release of Windows XP and how that you can install that theme on Windows XP. Ever since I started doing videos on the Windows XP betas and the just the uh, whole development process of Windows XP, um, I've gotten a lot of uh, questions in comments about if there is a way to get the theme known as the watercolor theme from the Windows Whistler betas inside of the final release of Windows XP. And believe it or not, there is a way of actually doing this, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video here. So I'm going to have all of the links you're going to need down below in the video description. So if you're interested in actually doing this, be sure to go ahead and check those out. Uh, so the first link is going to take you to this DeviantArt page right here, and on this page uh, you will find a download link to the watercolor theme that has been modified by this person right here um, to basically work in the final release of Windows XP, and you can see he does have a few other uh, Windows XP themes right here. Um, so you just want to go to the top right of the page and click on the download. It will download a 7z uh, file, which is for 7-zip, and uh, you want to copy that over to your XP uh, computer. You're also going to want to go to the, to the second link down below, which is going to take you to this Major Geeks page right here. And this is going to uh, allow you to download the uh, Universal or the UX Theme Patcher uh, for Windows XP, which will basically allow you to um, patch the theme engine in Windows XP so that you, you can install the watercolor theme here. If you just download the, uh, these files on the DeviantArt page and try to run them in an unpatched uh, Windows XP environment, it just won't do anything. So you want to make sure that you have uh, the UX theme patcher. And again, both these links are going to be down below. So what you want to do is just go ahead and copy both these files over to your XP computer. Um, in this demonstration here, I'm just going to be using a Windows XP uh, virtual machine. So I've got this all set up here. And you want to go ahead and extract both of the files. So in one of them, you're going to find the uh, UX Tender program, which is the UX Theme Patcher. And in the other zip file from DeviantArt, you're going to find these two files named uh, Professional, which at the time when Microsoft was developing uh, Whistler, the theme was called the Professional theme. So you have a actual theme file as well as all of the uh, contents contained in this folder right here. So. Uh, what you want to do first is just go ahead and run the uh, uh, UX Tender program, and it's going to pop up right here. And when it allows you to click on the patch button, you're just going to go ahead and do that and just click on patch. And then it's going to say patching successful, reboot for changes to take effect. So you just want to go ahead and do just that. So click on OK, close out of this program, and just reboot your computer. All right, so we are back. I have rebooted the virtual machine here. And what you want to do is instead of clicking on the uh, professional theme file, because when you do that, you see it doesn't really do anything. You want to actually go inside of the professional folder right here and double click on the uh, Windows Visual Style uh, file right here. And when you open that up, you will see that in this little preview window here, we now have the watercolor theme. Uh, and this is it. You, know, you can obviously go in here and change it from Windows XP style over to watercolor. And we only have the one uh, blue, th um, uh, the blue variant of the watercolor theme. So once you have it selected, just go ahead and click on apply. It'll go ahead and uh, apply the theme and just click on OK. And you can see we now have the uh, Windows Whistler watercolor theme. It's even gone ahead and changed the whole start menu uh, and the start button uh, around down here. So we do have the old Windows flying. And when we open it up, this is pretty much identical to, I mean, it is the same theme files from Windows Whistler. Uh, it's just here running in Windows XP. Um, and everything takes effect. You know, if I run Winver here, it's got uh, the theme across all the windows, all of the buttons look the same. So yeah, that is the Windows Whistler watercolor theme working in the final release of Windows XP. Uh, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos like this in the near future. And also be sure to drop me a, a you know comment letting me know your thoughts on this. And by the way, you can now install any other Windows XP theme. You know, since you have patched your system using the uh, UX um, theme patcher, you can now go ahead and just download any other theme for Windows XP and just install it using the same method that I showed you here. So, yeah, that's basically going to uh, wrap it up for this video. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.